Okay, we've got a new endeavor this evening. Uh, I'm gonna try out this slatted rack. I don't know a whole lot about the things. Um, don't know a lot of the history of the idea other than um, if you put it on beneath, you're supposed to put it between your bottom board and your bottom beep. And um, theoretically, it gives the beep more space to cluster. So it should prevent swarming, let you have a little bit bigger colony to where they don't feel as crowded, lets the queen labor deeper in the bottom deep. The, all those things, are, that's the theories uh, that we're running on here. So I figured, what the heck, we'll try it out. I bought two of them, so I'm gonna slap one on number 18 hive here, which you see I've got very well stacked up for honey flow. And then I'm gonna try to take the other one out to the, high, out to the farm and put it on that big hive out there, just to see, you know, it, it's kind of hard to say because if the hive doesn't swarm before the honey flow, so what, maybe they weren't going to anyway. But um, whatever, we'll throw it on there and just see if I think it makes any difference. But uh, it's real simple. Uh, the, way, the way it's supposed to work anyway, each of these slats hangs I believe each slat is directly below a frame. Yeah, so there's 10 slats that will line up below 10 frames. If you didn't have the slats and you just had a two inch spacer, the bees of course would draw a uh, comb off the bottom of your bottom frame. So the slats line up against the bottom of the bottom frames or right beneath the bottom frame to prevent the extended comb, but all the space between the slats is where the bees can cluster. So anyway, I'm gonna tear this stack down and it's gonna go right there on the bottom board. It'd be a good chance for me to get in here and do an inspection on this hive anyway. I stacked all this up about a week ago. Uh, no, not even a week ago, a couple days ago, I think. So it'll be a good chance for me to run through it again and see what it looks like. Um, when I, because I did a big combine on it, added this whole second deep, and I put the cleaning splitter in. So let me tear back through it and see what it looks like and get this put on. So there you have it on the install. I got the bees good and pissed off. This hive is a little bit touchy, so I'm suited up. Um, but you can see it, it fits on just like a deep wood, and you put the 3 8 inch side up. So it works just like a, any other bee space sort of spacer. And so now I'll set my deep right back on it, stack it all back up, and we'll just let it ride and see what happens. <laughs> 